Okay. Yeah. What's another trend you don't like? Uh, definitely. So I mean, close, like, open. but yet so far. <laughs> <laughs> Too far. No yeah. man's land. Yeah. So no, no bueno. Something about it is very uh, inherently indecisive. I feel like <laughs> where it, it, it's refusing to be short, but it's also refusing to be like a pant. Other than that, not much bothers me. I'm super adjusted to Korea and whatever the stuff I see. What are some Korean fashion trends that you're like, yes, this is so on point, this is so me? Korea is totally becoming more gentrified. Mm -hmm. As time goes on, global culture you know, is being felt everywhere, as with fashion. Uh, that being said, uh, I'm a huge advocate of two block cuts for guys. Right? Even though short on the side and a little more on top has been like a staple in men's fashion, I feel like it's the beginning of time. Right? It's just always been a classic look, right? To keep it short on the sides, a little more on top. These days, as you guys know, it's a trend and has been the trend in the US as well, like forever, is to shave it all down. And so I've been doing variations of that. No gradient? Since like coming to Korea. Off. I tried getting a fade once, they don't they don't do it well in Korea. They don't get how to do the face, so I just chop it all off instead. Um, personally, I, I change my hairstyle every three or four months because I get bored of it. So right now, this is this was a couple days ago. But I've done so many variations. I've done it where I've had like the kidney, like the leaf hair, and then cut on the sides. I've done it all back, all the Hitler youth, and then shave on the sides. I've had, I love that look. I've had crazy blow dryer, like uh, like runway fashion hair, and cut on the sides. And now it's like, what did my friend say? She saw me a couple days ago, she's like, oh, you look like uh, an opa who just got back from military service oh, and is visiting her girlfriend, and that's like the look the hair is now. I'm like, oh shoot. Oh, man. That's all right. <laughs> I'm cool with that. So okay. just changing it up because I get bored. It's hot these days. You gotta yes. keep it short. And it feels really good getting a lot of hair cut off at once uh, all the time. You know no, what? it doesn't. It doesn't? It doesn't? Is it different? For... I'm like, no! That's how I feel. We were talking about earlier, actually, but high waters. So first, I was against them when I first came to Korea. I didn't like that look of just flowing above the ankle, but now, maybe because it's more global fashion accepted as well, but now I do that too. I love rolling up my pants a little bit to show off my sneakers more. Mm. I like that more than like, you know, covering it up with baggy jeans. Yeah, it looks um, so much more put together when your pants hit a little bit above your, what is it? Ankle. Ankle? At, at your ankles? Your peach bone, whatever that's yeah, called. Yeah, the peach bone. Ankle oh, bone. Yeah. Your peach bone. Yeah. I think ankle bones are sexy. In men. If they're like, um, they look strong. Enough. Strong. If they look strong. I like a man with a strong ankle. <laughs> <laughs> the third one. So Korea is very, um, most of the time, Korean fashion and what's cool in Korea is very homogenous and that everyone is doing the exact same thing at the exact same time. It's a small country, everyone consumes the same pop culture, there's less niches in Korea, so one of those things is Birkenstocks. So, growing up, my idea of Birkenstocks was always, oh, hippies wear them. I don't know what to say. Go That's on. it. <laughs> but uh, starting two, two and a half summers ago, like two, three years ago in Korea, Birkenstocks became very popular, right? And I was against it for so long until last summer or the day or the summer before that I caved and I got a pair. Mm -hmm. So comfortable, right? They're so comfortable. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. It's so good. And it's you know, it's something a little more secure and not so janky as uh Samditas, which are sliders. <laughs> right? Mm. Just uh, normal slip-on. Like the Nike sliders. Yeah, it's so they're the normally thick, called sliders, right? The thick strap. Thick strap. Uh, in Korea they're called Samditas, because Sam means three. And it looks like it has an Adidas stripe. Oh, but it's not. So it's not. So, <laughs> so it's called some Adidas in Korea, right? When you get the. So it's a little nicer than that to wear, and it's so comfortable. Mm. When I went traveling last year, and I used those for my whole trip, it was so comfy and so cool. So I changed my mind about Birkenstocks. Wow. They're really comfortable. I'm not getting paid. I wish I got paid to say that, but no, really. I totally changed my mind about Birkenstocks. Birkenstocks. They're so model. comfy in the summer.
like old lady shoes or sort of like kind of like dowdy shoes they're making a real comeback yes I think so they're yeah. cool to be dowdy mm. like the grandma shoes mm -hmm. oh, what? what's that brand it's like this German brand it's like an orthopedic brand I think it starts with a W worse than whatever yeah but it's sort of like that grandma chic mm. that young women wear I think ultimately what spurred that on was less about the exact fashion of the broken sock itself, but just that it gets so hot and so humid here that I didn't want to like keep like being choked to death on my sneakers in the summer because it gets hot. But broken socks. Which, the classic looking ones or the ones that are like woman sandal-ish right now? Not so far as the more classic looking ones, like strap around the back, strap on the front. Don't hate until you try to put them on walked around. Super comfy. I think that, to me personally, that's the most sexiest look when somebody is so comfortable in their footwear. Ah. You know, because have you seen people who are wearing uncomfortable shoes and they walk funny or they just look unstable and they're teeter-tottering? No matter how great the rest of the outfit is, if you're not walking and moving right, the clothes look horrible. So I almost feel as though the way a person moves in their clothes has a lot to do with it, too. Uh, it's like right. the swag you have when you're walking around. Everything else that I'm really into is a result of being more into global street fashion because I, I, that's still very American about me that I want to distinguish myself from other people. And that's especially so in Korea where everyone does look so alike. So I, I even feel even stronger desire to look differently. Which is weird because a lot of the fashion I like is borrowed from these realms where it's very popular in this community. So in one sense, online, I'm very much dressed similarly to these people, but in Korea, it's different enough. You definitely stand out in terms of like, if you're walking down the street, you don't look like every other Korean guy. Uh, except in this neighborhood a little bit, because again, I think this is the same with anywhere in the world, bougie people dress certain brands, right? Uh -huh. So in this community anyway, street fashion is, uh, like streetwear is a big thing. Yeah, like bougie people are always dressed a certain way. So people in this neighborhood wear stuff like Supreme or Off White and like ye and stuff like yeah, easy stuff like Kanye stuff in this neighborhood. But do you feel that uh, they have the same sort of thought? Like I feel as though there's a big difference oftentimes between how Koreans wear fashion and maybe a more westernized person wears fashion because mm. I feel as though Koreans are doing it because it's like they're trying to belong to a group maybe? Yes. Um, there's a thing, uh, so there's a website and a phrase used in the community called Hype Beast. Mm -hmm. You understand hype, right? right? So Hype Beast is all about, which I, I kind of am today because <laughs> I'm wearing like this pallet shirt with like this, this like Nike jacket and everything. But hype beast is like when like you're overtly just trying to flex like big brand names, mm -hmm. which is what Koreans love to do, right? Yeah. Like look at look at like my new uh, like Alexander Wang purse, mm -hmm. which I love Alexander Wang by the way. <laughs> but I'm just saying that in Korea, like, people love to flaunt their brands, and in this neighborhood, the problem I have is yes, you're wearing streetwear, but they make it a point to be super flashy. So they wear like the loudest supreme jacket they can with the off white socks showing at the same time with like the latest set of Yeezys on their feet. So like it doesn't even coordinate. It's just like, look at me, I can friend, afford friend. all of this. And they like to show off all at the same time. Yeah, I wonder if a guy who is dressed similarly to you in this neighborhood, but is Korean, mm -hmm. like I feel as though you're dressed a certain way because you're like, this is me as an individual. Versus I'm not sure if Koreans are raised in a way where they think about that. How do you feel? Um, I mean, obviously, people are more fa fashion conscious than other. I want. I don't want to say that I'm like on a different level or anything, but I do make a conscious effort to at least get colors to match. Try not to have too many brands show off at the same time, because I also do like flexing my more expensive or not even just because expensive, because like my flasher pieces. Like this jacket is pretty loud in terms of design, so I try not to let anything else jump out too much at the same time. Everything has a flow. It's like there's like a flow going on. I get it's like kind of like uh, I remember seeing this interview about a tattoo artist in Korea. Um, I forgot what her name is. She's one of the more famous ones in the community. Was this an article that lists like four different tattoo artists? Might have been. Yeah. Okay, is I it, might have is read it the tattoo Nadir? I forgot. But it's one of the tattoo artists there, and she said one reason that she loves showing off her tats while she walks around Korea is because it's acting like the human body as a canvas, right? Mm -hmm. Look at me. I'm art walking around, and I also like that about fashion and that. 
it's not just showing off to other people, but it's like, this is me. And like what I'm wearing and this in motion is also beautiful. Mm. I'm very much someone who's into aesthetics and I really, I'm always analyzing everything everyone's wearing all the time when walking around. Not because I'm judging like, oh, that's bad or not. I'm just like, I like to see what thought process was before this person went out the door. Because it's closely a lot about who you are, right? Yeah. The other way around, even if like the person is just like wearing like all brands, that was the person's thought process. Like, you know that, like the most famous artist, that guy? I think there's this guy, there's this artist called the most famous artist, and what he does is he just brings out around a clear bag of a million dollars. Like, that's his art. Maybe I'm mixing two things up, but like he'll like, he at first did all these paintings and like none of the art galleries like would ever like give him a chance. And one day he just like uh, put a million dollars in like a clear bag and he like walked in and like all the curators were like all over him. It's so New York City artwork. It's like when Shia LaBeouf put a crown paper bag over his head and he went to the war ceremony. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like, actually, you know what, maybe it's not even just Korean people, but people in general, they probably don't put a lot of thought behind their clothes. It's more like they look at what an editor in a fashion magazine, hype beast, or some Instagram person that they follow, looked at their process, their thought process, and decided, I like their thought process, and therefore I'm going to put that on. It's like what we were talking about before, like mm -hmm. copying. Yeah, you copy it until you find yourself, mm -hmm. right? Until you find like, so that's why I feel like I'm at where like I've copied from so many different sources that I've combined the best what I like about both, and now I'm truly 100% that piece where like I feel like everything is exactly as it should be, as it should look, and how I want it to be. For now. For now. Yeah, that's <laughs> evolving. Just like you as a person. Just like, which Spice Girl are you at this moment in time? Yeah, what are you, Kevin? Yeah, is it bold? <laughs> so, Kevin, what is your Instagram? Uh, oh, am I sharing that? It's called Roll of Quarters, like a roll of quarters. Mm -hmm. I'll put it. Yeah, put it below.